future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you're still new to my channel and you like what i'm doing please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends friends that's the only way you can help me promote my channel and help your friends also in civil engineering now if you like my videos if the if my videos are important to your studies then also don't forget to subscribe this problem was already solved by the force method this time let's solve it by the method of least work because it is shorter and more direct so determine the support reactions e is constant moment of inertia of portion a b is i while that of ec is 2i so here's the figure so this beam is continuous and it is indeterminate to the second degree so for simplicity we i select reaction at b and reaction at, at c as the redundant forces so although that is ra and we have rb r sub c and moment at a to be assumed to be positive clockwise at the left section ax is obviously zero so supposedly this is a y but let's just call that ra no problem so that is ma so for our sectioning it should start at c going to the left then second section third section we have four sections here so for the first section we may you may bypass it because uh, our first redundant force is r sub b but we may also write it so that when establishing the second equation ei delta c which is zero which is partial of the energy equation or moment equation with respect to the second redundant then it is ready to be uh, repeated and the we just change for the partial derivative of that moment equation so ei delta b equals ei partial of u with respect to rb and it is zero so it is equal to integral from zero to two we should bypass the first two sections they are free of rb so we begin with this so we have r sub c times 7 plus x then plus r sub b times x and minus 30 times 4 plus x the derivative or the derivative of this moment equation with respect to the redundant rb is x dx and that's why we have x dx there then in the last section integral of r sub b times r sub c times 9 plus x uh, 0 to 6 plus r b times quantity 2 plus x minus 30 times quantity 6 plus x then minus 20 times x times x over 2 or minus 10 x square the derivative of this moment equation with respect to r b is of course 2 plus x dx so integrating the first we begin with r b then r sub c individually then the constant the value of the integral is equal to 8 r b plus 50 8 thirds r b plus 50 over 3 r sub c minus 320 likewise for the second integral we have integral of 2 plus x quantity square dx for the coefficient of rb then r sub c integral of 9 plus x times 2 plus x dx 0 to 6 and the constant the value of the integral would be 168 rb plus 378 rc minus 13320 so establishing the first equation we have combining like terms and transpose the constants to the right 512 over 3 rb plus 1184 over 3 rc equals 13640 we will call that equation one for the second energy equation ei uh, delta c which is zero also equals ei partial of u with respect to r sub c and it is equal to the integral zero to 3 of r sub c x dx the derivative of 
r sub c x is x dx since the moment of inertia of the portion bc is 2 2i then we divide it by 2 because the e is here earlier because we bypassed the first two sections that's why there was no integral with denominator 2 only one because these two integrals was set up were set up in portion AB. So plus integral 0 to 4 of R sub C times quantity 3 plus X minus 30 X. The derivative is 3 plus X dx then divided by 2. The next for the next section we no longer divided by 2. We copy the moment equation then we just modify this derivative here which is now 7 plus x dx. Integral 0 to 2, we copy this moment equation. Then we replace this by quantity 7 plus x dx. Then for the last segment, we copy this integral. We just replace this by the derivative of r sub z, which is 9 plus x dx. So copy. Then replace by 9 plus x dx, which is this. So the value of the first integral in terms of r sub c is 9 halves r sub c. The second integral, you have r sub c and constant. So it is 158 over 3 r c minus 680. For the third integral, uh, let's begin with r c, then r b. Then we have uh, R B 50 over 3 R B then 386 over 3 R sub C minus 2 for 20. Then for the last integral we have 3, 8, 378 R B plus 882 R sub C minus 29,700. So again combining like terms R B first then R sub C then the constants and so to the right we establish the second we cannot establish the second equation. 1184 over 3 RB plus 6407 over 6 R sub C equals 32,800. These equations are similar to the equations in the force method. So therefore, the answers would be the same. So R sub B is 61.181 kilonewtons. R sub C would be 8.104 kilonewtons. Then we compute moment at A first. If you sum up moment about A, so moment about A plus 20 times 6 times 3 plus 30 times 12 equals R sub B times 8 plus R sub C times 16. So we can now solve MA, which is expected negative, of course, by experience. So it's really negative 108.992, so it should be counterclockwise here. Then finally for RA, uh, summation forces Y equals 0. You may also sum up moments about A if you want, because we have already found MA. Or at B, sorry, at B. Or at C not at A because this moment equation was obtained by taking moments about A. So R sub A is equal to 80.715. So I just use summation for C sub Y because the first two, first three answers are the same from the first method and second D I already know that RA is 80.715. So that's it.